large variations in uh, agricultural commodity prices can have significant negative impact for both producers and especially consumers. Um, because prices are normally perceived as being realizations of stochastic processes, returns are also realizations of stochastic processes. So in the past there has been kind of a concerted effort to create stochastic models for returns, specifically in this case for commodity prices. Um, so the res research I want to talk about today is uh, in addition to this literature. Okay? So you see, we are specifically interested in very large variations in commodity prices or very large variations in returns. You know, we're interested in asking and answering questions of the type, what is the probability okay, that a particular return will exceed a certain high level? Or put in a slightly different way, uh, what is the return that will be exceeded with a very slow, low probability? Okay? Uh, this last, the answer for this last question is what we call in statistics a quantile. And because we're interested in identifying return levels whose probability of realized returns being below that level is very large, we call these high order quantiles. So what we're trying to do, the ultimate objective of our research, is to estimate these high order quantiles for commodity returns. So how do we do this? How do we go about doing this estimation? So the way we do this is based on a two-stage estimation procedure. The first stage is the specification of a non-parametric location scale model for the evolution of returns through time. This model has two important characteristics. The first is that the mean and the variance for returns through time can vary with time, can vary with time period, because they are functions of past returns and other important variables that condition the mean in the variance. So that's the first important characteristic of this model. The second characteristic is that these functions that describe the mean and the variance for the process are not specified to belong to any specific parametric class of functions. That's why we call this a non-parametric model. This is important, this characteristic, because it allows the data to speak kind of freely about the structure of these functions. So this is the first stage of the estimation. The second stage of the estimation is actually related to the fact that we're interest, we are interested in high order quantiles. Um, in fact, this comes from mathematical statistics details of pretty much any distribution can be approximated by a function called a generalized Pareto function or Pareto distribution. And by tails I mean the part of the distribution that is associated with very high or low levels of the variable of interest, in our case returns. So what we do is we actually combine the non-parametric location scale model estimator in the first stage with a generalized Pareto approximation for details of the distribution of returns in the second stage to estimate these high order conditional quantiles. Uh, a byproduct of this res research, of course, is that we are able to answer questions of the type, what level of return will give us probabilities of exceedances, that is, values of returns that are above that value that occur with very low probability, say 5, 2, or 1%. Okay? In a sense, what this research allows us to do is to identify return levels of pr or price variations that are, quote, too high too high in the sense that they are exceeded with very low probability, 5, 2, or 1%. 
Uh, at IFPRI, we do this uh, every day. We obtain prices, future prices, for corn, soybeans, and wheat. We calculate daily returns and estimate quantiles, high order quantiles, every day and post these results in the policy analysis tools of this website.